In this lesson, we're going to be discussing resistance and Ohm's law. We'll define resistance and talk about its, the role of resistors in electrical circuits, as well as describe the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. Current is the movement of electrons through a conductor. Voltage is what makes the electrons move through a conductor. Electrical resistance slows down the motion of electrons and converts electrical energy into other forms of energy. An example is the tungsten filament found in incandescent light bulbs. The tungsten filament has a resistance 400 times greater than copper. As electrons pass through the filament, they are slowed down and the electrical energy is converted into light and heat. Resistance is measured in ohms and can be measured using an ohmmeter. The symbol for ohm is the Greek letter omega. A resistor is a device that opposes the flow of electric current. Resistors control current or voltage to suit the needs of other electric devices in the circuit. The circuit diagram symbol for a resistor is shown by the squiggly line below. What determines resistance? Resistance depends on a number of factors. One of the main factors is the material that makes up the resistor. Many resistors are made of carbon, others ceramic, and still many other materials. Resistance also depends on the length, diameter, and temperature of the resistor. Resistance increases with length and decreases with diameter. Resistance also decreases with temperature. Color-coded bands on a res resistor indicate the resistance of the res resistor. The first two bands represent the first two digits and the third band shows the number of zeros to be added. A fourth band, if present, shows the tolerance or the error range of the resistor. The relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. The relationship between voltage and current is a direct one. In other words, as voltage increases, current decreases. The ratio of voltage to current is constant for a given conductor. This relationship is known as Ohm's law. The relationship can be shown mathematically by the equation R equals V over I, where R equals resistance in ohms, V equals voltage in volts, and I equals current in amperes. The formula can be re rearranged and is usually written as V equals IR. We'll discuss how to solve problems using Ohm's Law, but first I want to review some simple steps in solving any physics problem. The first step to solving any physics problem is to make sure you read the problem carefully. Be sure what it's asking. So determine what you know and what you're asked to find out. Create a data list. Choose the correct formula and write it out. Once you have the correct formula, substitute the known values into the formula, and then calculate the answer. You should record to the correct number of significant digits and include the correct SI unit in your answer. In example one, a flashlight uses two 1.5 volt cells in series. The current in the bulb is 280 milliamps. What is the resistance of the bulb? And the first step is to create a data list, determine what you know from the problem. So in this example, we have a 1.5 volt cell, two of them in series. So when cells are in series, we add their voltages. So we have a three volt battery. And we also need to convert the current from milliamps into amperes. We do that by multiplying by a factor of one over a thousand. So there's one amp for every thousand milliamps. This is the same as dividing by a thousand. Essentially, we move the decimal place three places to the left. So in this case, the current is 2.80 amps. The resistance is what we're asked to find out. So, step one, I write down the formula. I do not need to rearrange this formula in any way. Step two, I take the data from the data list and plug it into the formula. So, V equals 3.0 volts. I is 0 0.280 amps and then I calculate the answer. It's giving me an answer of about 10.7 ohms, but I'll round it to 11 ohms as there are only two significant digits in, given in the problem for voltage. 
so I should include two significant digits in my answer. In example two, a current of 150 milliamps flows through a 75 ohm resistor. What is the voltage across the resistor? So step one is the data list again. So what I'm asked to find out, I'm asked to find voltage. I know my current in milliamps, so if I divide that by 1,000, I can find my volt or my current in amps, so 0 0.150 amps, and my resistance is 75 ohms. So I can write down my formula. In this case, I'm going to use V equals IR, the standard way of expressing Ohm's law, and plug in what I know. So 0 0.150 amps times 75 ohms will give me my current, or my voltage. So it gives me a value of 11.25 volts, but I'll round that to 11 volts, two significant digits, because again, 75 ohms is given to two significant digits in my problem. And finally, let's solve a problem where we have to find the current. So in example three, a 22 ohm resistor has a voltage of 3.5 volts. What is the current in the resistor? Give your answer in milliamps. So step one, write the data list. So V equals 3.5 volts. I I'm asked to find and R is 22 ohms. Step one is to write the formula. And I can start with R equals V over I. This won't work though to find I, so I need to rearrange it. This can be rewritten as I equals V over R. And then I plug in my values. So I equals 3.5 volts over 22 ohms. It's going to be 0 0.159 amps, and I will round that to 160 milliamps, because again, I'm given both 22 ohms and 3.5 volts to two significant digits, and therefore my answer should be two significant digits. So 160 milliamps is my final answer.